Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is May 16th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You got the Hawaiian Islands out here where I'm circling. You got California and the West Coast of North America kind of to the upper right of the screen there. You can kind of see a ridge out north of the Hawaiian Islands, and you got this troughing setting up here that's going to drive down and bring us an inside slider here across portions of the Southwest USA. We'll take a look at those details. We'll take a look at what is coming in the extended forecast, as always, as we go through the video here this morning. So, looking at lightning strikes over the last 24 hours, nothing to show for California, Nevada, or Arizona. You got to go way across northern Utah to get any lightning strike activity. Yesterday, that may be changing here over the the next couple days though and if you want your own home weather station it does lightning detection and much more it's all solar power you have it up and running in a few minutes highly recommend this station click on the link down below if you want to get one now looking at the visible satellite imagery here let's update that and kind of see where we are you see we got this band here of some higher and mid and some low level clouds here across some of central california and that marine layer is pretty well intruded into the what the los angeles basin there in a lot of san diego so so that might be a, a little bit slow to burn off today but if you go north to the bay area there is some glorious sunshine across the coastal areas until you get a little bit further north across extreme northern california coastal areas if you look closely you can see mount shasta right there and there's where lake tahoe would be also you can see some of the dust and the dirt across some of the desert areas as well now taking a look here you got some gale warnings along some of the coastal areas also you see some of this precipitation maybe a, a sprinkle out of this across some of the sierra nevada but not much to speak of otherwise until you get up across port portions of Nevada. Now, taking a look at the Patreon page, if you want to go ahead and send me some of your weather images, go to the community tab. It is free to sign up and become a member on this channel. You can also support the channel uh, on the Patreon page here as well. So you have fun stuff. You can see the anvil and some dust doubles there across Washington. Now, look at the Storm Prediction Center. Thunderstorm activity here for today that does include some of the Sierra Nevada, Northeast California, up in towards Nevada. And then we go to day two again as the system is moving through. Some thunderstorm potential will be present with that. We'll look at the weather models on that here in a moment. Even a marginal risk for some uh, wind gusts there, some severe wind gusts across portions of northern Utah. Now, this is the day three. It pushes off to the east, and this is where I may be chasing here as we go on in through uh, Sunday and Monday. Uh, yeah, some interesting weather is upcoming here for some of the central plains. So I will be out there. I'll try to be bringing my show on the road, though, and do my daily briefings in the hotels there. Now, taking a look here at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet here, of course, is the state of California. Bottom left of this image is uh, the Hawaiian Islands. We put this into motion, and you can clearly see the system arriving this week. And again, an inside slider. These are generally moisture starved, but they can suppress the temperatures. They will kick up some of the winds here as well. And then you can see the ridge kind of dominating across the Northeast Pacific Ocean, close to the West Coast of North America. Systems continue to slide in through the northwest, but you can see the ridging does remain above average here for California as we go on into about May 24. First, a little bit of flattening of that ridge as a trough swings through the Pacific Northwest. And yeah, we'll continue to watch that as we go on in through the second half of May. This only goes out 144 hours. We'll take a look at the extent of forecast in a minute. It is a bit interesting. Now, looking at the European model there. So let's look at this inside slider. And again, I want to mention this today. This is the thunderstorm chance across from the Sierra Nevada. It could kick off a couple of those. And then we go on in through Saturday. The chance increases, especially across Nevada, Northern California, some of the Sierra Nevada East slopes as well. Tries to bring a little bit of precipitation down through Southern California. It doesn't look like it amounts to much as you probably saw there. And I'll show you the amounts here in a moment. But then we go on into the extended forecast and we start to look like we dry out a bit there at least for a time. But then we've got another potential trough as we go towards the end of May. This continues to show up in the weather models. Now lightning flash density potential. This is for this afternoon. You can see we do destabilize a little bit here across some of the higher terrain. We go on into Saturday and you kind of see an Nevada getting the lion's share, but some portions of California could be getting a thunderstorm or two as we go through the day Saturday. By the time we get towards Sunday, that is pushing off to the east, as you can see. And then we go to Monday. That thing is well off to the east by then. And yeah, we're not looking at any thunderstorm activity here for the most part as we go through next week. As of right now, anyway, and if we look at the high-resolution rapid refresh, we'll scroll through this here really quickly. This is for this afternoon. You can see a little bit of a blurb here, maybe a couple lightning strikes across the higher terrain. On Saturday, better chances do come, but again, mainly across portions of Nevada. Now, looking at the North American model, this is the composite reflectivity or what the Doppler radar may look like here over the next 60 hours. And as we scroll on in through Friday afternoon, again, you can kind of see the thunderstorm potential as we go through this afternoon. Sierra Nevada, you know, towards the Cascades here and some of the foothill regions there off to the 
uh, east of Red Bluff and Redding and Sacramento and whatnot. And there would be Fresno and Modesto there as well. And then we scroll on in towards the day on Saturday. And you see uh, the showers increasing here across northern portions. And again, mainly across Nevada. But you can't rule out a few showers across some of the higher terrain of California. And then we go on into Sunday and maybe some additional a couple showers there across some of the higher terrain as well. Not much to write home about, though. The European Ensemble mean is only showing you know a tenth of an inch for some of the higher terrain in Southern California, maybe just enough to wet the ground across some portions of the Southland here. But again, not much to speak of. And precipitation amounts, even up north and across the Sierra Nevada, are looking quite sparse. Uh, total snow, uh, you're generally one to two inches, probably at most, across some of the higher terrain. Uh, there might be some individual locations to get a little bit more there, but this goes all the way out through Wednesday night. Now, look at the National Blend of Models temperatures. You can see we will suppress some of these temperatures. We go through Saturday and see things dropping off on temperature there. Again, kind of keeping things moderated a bit. But then we go through next week, Monday, Tuesday. Look at things start to ramp up here. You can see some upper 90s even showing up for the San Joaquin Valley. Deserts are well up over 100 degrees by the time we get towards Wednesday and Thursday. And there's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No big cool down yet showing up in the National Blend of Models. But I'll show you something here in a moment starting right now with the european artificial intelligence there goes this weekend system big ridge dominating the pacific ocean there and then we kind of deal with these systems going through the Pacific Northwest, trying to flatten out the ridge a bit here. And then this trough continues to show up as we go through the extended forecast. This is May 25th, and you can see that thing uh, setting up shop there and kind of this would bring some meaningful precipitation probably across portions of California if this exact uh, scenario were to verify here. But it's still a ways out there. But it does continue to show this model run to model run there. So there may be something to it there. That would be quite a fun system as we go through the end of May, no doubt. Now, what would that bring? Let's scroll all the way out here and kind of watch that trough. There it goes. There's the trough we're talking about. Brings a frontal system, some rainfall, maybe even down towards Southern California. And yeah, we can always dream. We'll see how that goes. And then you can see just for kicks at the end of the model run, it shows some kind of tropical system coming off the coast of Mexico and drifting down there south of the Baja Peninsula. Now, look at a two meter temperature anomaly. We'll scroll through this. You can see how we do warm up as we go on in through what next weekend a bit. And then after that, if that trough does set up, you can see some of these below normal temperatures. A uh, bit of a, relatively speaking, a little bit of a chilly solution here as we go towards the end of May. But again, no promises just yet, just something fun to watch. But it has been showing it from run to run. Now, I showed the drought monitor yesterday. <clears throat> Uh, not many changes here, relatively speaking. We didn't get any vast swaths of improvement or anything like that. We added a little bit of drought. We took a little bit away. But yeah, you can kind of see things here. And if I click on the state of California, you can get a little bit of a, a close-up. Some of the San Joaquin Valley is in moderate drought there. And there are some areas of extreme drought across some of the border areas, southeast California as well. And some of the east slopes of the peninsula range towards the Salton Sea is dealing with some extreme drought. Here's the 6 to 10 days. So this is obviously before that trough would arrive. This is Climate Prediction Center as of yesterday and that below normal signal as well. So it may start to trend west here as we go through the six six to ten day forecast over the next couple of days um, but yeah anyway hope you guys are having a good day otherwise click like and subscribe we will do this all again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then